Alright, in continuing with my video series exposing the Jesuits and their conquest of trying to bring the whole world under a Jesuit theocracy, I'm going to keep reading about the Jesuit conquest of India and trying to turn India into a Jesuit theocracy. This is from a book called The Secret History of the Jesuits by Edmund Paris. Uh, it's a very interesting detailed book about the Jesuits and their pretty much unknown history and what they're really like. This is on page, uh, this is on chapter 12. Uh, page 71 down to verse 70 down to page 72. I'm still used to saying verses page 71 and 72 I'm gonna read it. It says Francis Xavier one of Ignatius's first companions who like him was canonized by the church was the great promoter of Asia's evangelization in 1542 he disembarked at Goa and found there a bishop a cathedral and a covenant of Franciscans who together with some Portuguese priests had already tried to spread around them the religion of Christ. Now obviously I've said this in the other video, the religion of Christ is not the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a satanic, luciferian, Babylonian uh, cult. But I'm gonna keep, re gonna keep reading, sorry I had a lump in my throat. He gave, his, he, he gave that first attempt su uh, such a strong impetus that he was summoned, he was surnamed the Apostle of India. Actually he was more of a pioneer and an exciter than one who really accomplished some, something long lasting. Something lasting, sorry says uh, a fiery enthusiastic always on the lookout for new fields of action he showed the way he showed the way more than he cleared the ground in the kingdom of traveling core in malacap hope i'm saying that word right uh, on the islands of uh, banda mass macascar again i'm probably not saying his names right but i've established in other videos and Selam, his personal charm and his um let me go to the next page his eloquent speeches did wonders, and as a result, 70,000, quote, idolaters, unquote, were or, uh, converted, especially among the low caste, the low caste, whatever you say it. To obtain this, he did not despise the political or even military support of the Portuguese. The results, more slowly than solid, were bound uh, to rouse interest for the missions of Europe, as well as throwing brilliant luster over the Society of Jesus. Now, again, this is, the Jesuits are not the Society of Jesus Christ. The Jesuits are the Society of the Antichrist. But continuing on. This untiring but little persevering apostle soon left India for Japan and China, where he was then about to enter when he died at Canton in 1552. So a good, interesting summary on the Jesuit conquest of India and attempting to make India into another Jesuit theocracy, like they did with the help of these Portuguese priests. Because why? The goal of the Jesuits is to bring the whole world under a Roman Catholic Jesuit theocracy, like Revelation chapter... 17 talks about how mystery of babylon reigns over the kings of the earth that simple and their catholic church desire is a, it's a religion and a political system of world domination so don't be deceived when they say oh it's just another religion it's a political religious system of world domination just like the pagan roman empire which just re-emerged as the roman catholic church the roman empire never went away it's just re-emerging as the roman catholic church all the same idolatry and superstition and paganism so anyway i wanted to point that out about the jesuits their conquest and their goal of world domination don't be deceived by the jesuits they are very very satanic they are described for example in ezekiel chapter 22 the wicked false prophets they are. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, the truly saved brethren out there. Goodbye. Thank you.